So a long time ago, I thought it would be a good idea to save up some books for a book haul. Little did I know I would accumulate so many books. This haul has reached biggest haul of the year status, guys. I literally have a pool of books just sitting on the floor in front of me. I don't even know how. I have legitimately no idea how I'm supposed to start this haul because there are just so many freaking books. And before I even get into this book haul, I just wanted to say thank you to Shein.com for sending me this nice sweater. I really like it. They also sent me something else, but I don't know where it is because I kind of lost it. Oops, this video is not sponsored in any way. Starting off, I want to show you all four books of the Maze Runner series. These were sent to me by Penguin Random House in exchange for telling you guys about the Dashner Dash promotion that's going on right now. And so what the outline of the Dashner Dash is, on May 27th, you start the Maze Runner. On June 27th, you start the Scorch Trials. On July 27th, you start the Death Cure. On August 27th, you start the Kill Order. And then on September 27th, you start the Fever Code. I will do my best to participate since I've already read the Maze Runner. I'm not going to be rereading it because I kind of have other books to read. But I will do my best to read the other three books in the series. And I hope you join me. Next up, I have A Court of Mist and Fury by Miss Sarah J. Mass. This was sent to me by the lovely Taylor over at Taylor. Reads. She sent me a kind little note with it and we'll be seeing each other next month because of BNN Teen Fest. I will be on a panel for that along with Taylor. If you want some more info on BNN Teen Fest and the panel that I'm going to be on and where it's going to be at and when, there will be information down in the description box below. It's a national event so every Barnes & Noble has something going on. Go to your local Barnes & Noble and check it out. This is signed. Woo, woo, woo. And next up I have Remember to Forget by Ashley Royer. Royer. I will be having a live chat with the author of this book, Ashley Royer. Royer. I'll learn how to say her last name, hopefully. It'll be on June 24th on my channel at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You should stop by and ask some questions. It'll be a great conversation, I promise. Yeah, I was super excited! It's been a really long time since I've had a live show on my channel. Next, I have P.S. I Love You by Casey West. Casey West is one of my favorite authors ever. I really didn't think I was gonna get this book because when I asked for it, they were like, well, we don't really know. But then it arrived in the mail and I was absolutely ecstatic. Publication month, August 2016. You gotta wait, but I already have this book. Next up, I have some Penguin Random House books and they are The Glittering Court and Beware That Girl. The Glittering Court is by Rochelle Mead who is the author of the Vampire Academy series and the Bloodline series. I have read Vampire Academy and absolutely loved it. It's one of my favorite series of all time but I have not read Bloodlines. I tried reading it about two years ago and really didn't like it because I just was kind of sentimental about Vampire Academy ending and I really didn't like the change in narration. Ever since Rochelle has been writing like standalone fantasy novels. I don't know how I feel about that. I have not read her other fantasy standalone which is sad List, but I kind of heard meh things about it. I've heard meh things about this too, but I've also heard yeah things about this, so I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. And you know, the book that we put aside, Beware That Girl by Teresa Toten. I will actually be interviewing this author at a bookstore. I'm pretty sure I know where the bookstore is. I've always wondered what the social scene was like in really prestigious New York schools or elite schools in general. This book takes place in one of those elite social circles amongst those elite schools. And so I'm really interested to see how this plays out. This is about a girl who's trying to climb the social ladder and land a spot at Yale. Next up, I have some advanced readers copies. Oh, you just saw one of them, but that's okay. The first one I have is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is the most beautiful advanced readers edition I've ever seen. You know, I really wanted to stand in the mob for this because I feel like that was just a really good bonding moment for booktube as a whole, but I never got to. I just was given this. I was given this along with some other arcs from a local bookstore, so bookstores have the perks. The next book I have is Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oaks. I just hauled two Alice in Wonderland prequel retail telling things about the Queen of Hearts in a row. Next up, I have The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. I have read every single one of Morgan Matson's books. I have already read this. I read it as soon as I got it. I was really, really excited for this book. I liked this book, but I didn't love it as much as Morgan's other books. And so I found myself disappointed, even though it was a pretty good book. Next up, I have Ruined by Amy Tintera. This book is already out, even though this is an advanced copy. I read Reboot by Amy Tintera, and that was a sci-fi dystopian, but this is a fantasy novel. And I'm interested to see how Amy Tintera switches genres. I don't know if this is gonna be better than the sci-fi dystopian or if the sci-fi dystopian is gonna be better than the fantasy, who knows? And the last arc I have for my local bookstore is The Boy Most Likely To by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This is like a spin-off book on My Life Next Door. This has characters from My Life Next Door, but it's narrated by different characters, so it's obviously a different story. Next up, I have some books that were sent to me by Disney High P. 
Hyperion, and the first one is Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan. This just came out, and I've heard so many great things about this book. Rick Riordan is just a master storyteller. I'm currently reading Blood of Olympus, and I'm loving it so far. I'm sad that the last book with Percy in it is coming to an end. The book doesn't even have his point of view. How sad is that? Next up, I have Return to the Isle of the Lost by Melissa De La Cruz. This is a Descendants novel, and it's like best-selling, and oh my gosh, what if this cover was actually a mirror? Do you know how much of a game changer that would be? There's actually a movie. I do not watch Disney Channel anymore. Maybe I have to get cable to watch Disney Channel to watch the movie for this. And the last Hyperion book is Sea Spell by Jennifer Donnelly. This is the fourth book in the Waterfire Saga. I have not read the first three books, but I know the first book is Deep Blue. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the fourth book until I read the first three, but thank you Disney Hyperion. So I have some books that were sent to me by HarperCollins. First up, I have Shades of Dune and Forever Dune, both by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. This is the third book in the Dune series, and this is the fourth book in the Dune series. This is a finished copy, this is not. I have read the first two books in the Dune series and have enjoyed them. If you're looking for a Scottish fantasy with bridges and mythology and magic, this is the series to go to. And then transitioning into our next book, I have Guilt Hollow by Lori Langdon. Lori Langdon is one of the co-authors for Dune. I really do like the formatting. I like the smell of this book. This is Unfolding by Jonathan Friesen. This is basically about an outcast who wishes he could get a girlfriend. The unfolding happens, I guess. One Pair of Summer by Denise Grover Swank. Obviously from the cover of this book and the title of this book, you know that this is a book about a summer in Paris. Isn't that what we all want? Yes, that's for sure. I know that I want a summer in Paris. I don't know about you, but I'll be reading because I don't have a summer in Paris. It'll be all right. So read this book. -na 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 -na. Okay, I'm done. Next up, I have Flamecaster, which is a Shattered Realms novel by Cinda Williams Chima. This book just came out. I have not read JK. I have I've read a book by Cindy Williams Chima if you count a book that I read half of. And that was The Warrior Heir way back. I can't even remember when I read that. I do not know if I need to read like all of Cindy Williams Chima's books to read this. Let me know in the comments so that way I don't have to do research. Ah! And the last book I have from HarperCollins is Girl Against the Universe by Paula Stokes. I actually met Paula Stokes way back in 2014 when I still lived in Chicago. This is about tennis. I'm inferring from the cover because I didn't read the synopsis. But the synopsis is very vague and does not talk about tennis. So I'm kind of nervous if the book isn't about tennis and I just assume that it was about tennis. Next up I have Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is actually a chapter sampler. This was sent to me by a blogger in Seattle because she was there and had an extra sampler. Thank you so much! And I'm actually gonna be seeing her at Tacoma Comic Con because I'm gonna be on a blogger panel there. July 16th I believe. Next up I have True Born by Ellie Sterling. This was sent to me by Entangled Teen along with this awesome mug that says Go Away Reading and Entangled Teen on the back. I love this mug. And can you tell because I already filled it with my goodies? Next up I have some booktube tours books. The first one is Dating an Alien Pop Star by Kendra L. Saunders. This tour is going to be in June and there's a giveaway going on for this so I'll leave a link down below. I'm not sure if the giveaway is up yet but when it is you can go check out the link and enter the giveaway for a mystery box. And then I have Kindling Flames Gathering Tinder and Kindling Flames Flying Sparks both by Julie Wetzel. This tour is also taking place in June and there will be a swag pack giveaway that you can enter down below. I'm also not sure if the giveaway is up yet but when it is go click the link. And then I have Sleeping Tom by Evie Fairfall. Evie Fairfall also has a booktube channel. Booktube couple is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Go watch their videos. They're absolutely adorable. Next up I have some books from Simon & Schuster. The first one is One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And the second is Save on This Life by Renee Carlino. Both of these are adult books. Lately I've been branching into more adult books. It's just a completely new genre that I really like reading from. And so I'm broadening my reading horizons by reading adults. I'm liking this stuff. I'm liking it. And then I have some books that were sent to me by Little Brown. The first one is The Loose Ends List by Carrie Firestone and the Memory Book by Lara Avery. Now for the Loose Ends List, the author's name is Carrie Firestone. If I lived in some fantasy world and I wanted myself a dragon, I would tell everyone that my last name was Firestone. Dragons breathe fire and dragon riders Firestone. It just makes sense, okay? This is about a girl who records basically everything in journals. The girl in this book kind of does the same thing. I'm seeing connections here. The Loose Ends List comes out in June and the Memory Book comes out in July. I have an autobiography that was turned into a Hulu TV series and it is My Mad Fat Diary by Ray Earl. I do not have Hulu, but if you have Hulu, you should probably check out the TV show and tell me how it is. It's actually not an autobiography, it's a memoir. Oops. I recently have acquired some memoirs and so I'm going to broaden my reading horizons and read more of these. This takes place in the UK. I've never really read memoirs, let alone read one that takes place in a country that's not mine. Next up I have Envision by Sherilyn Kenyon and this is a Chronicles of Nick book. I'm not sure which Chronicles of Nick book.
book this is. This just came out. If you know, please let me know, because that will tell me how many books I have to read before this one to read this one. And then I also have All Fixed Up by Linda Grimes. This is a paranormal book. I'm not sure if this is young adult or not, but I probably have to read some books before this to read this as well. Next up, I have some books that were sent to me by Sourcebooks, and the first two are Did I Mention I Love You and Did I Mention I Need You, both by Estelle Moscame. These were Wattpad sensations. I've seen a trend lately where books that were published originally online are getting contracts to be put on the shelves in bookstores from publishers, and so I think that's really awesome. Kudos to you, Estelle Moscame. Next up, I have Don't Get Caught by Kurt Dynan. This is a prank war book. I've never read a prank war book. I'm not sure how it would be told. I would guess that this would be told from several different points of view because you have all the people that are going to war with each other for pranks, I guess. Next up, I have You Before Anyone Else by Julie Cross and Mark Perini. This book was co-written by one of my favorite authors. Julie Cross wrote Whatever Life Throws At You, and I absolutely love that book. It's a sports book about baseball, and it's just so great. I loved it. Does this cover remind you of the Fault in Our Stars? A little bit. And the last book I have from Sourcebooks comes out in July, and it is Defending Taylor by Miranda Keneally. This is about, like, the perfect girl. She's captain of the soccer team, valedictorian, blah, 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 has the perfect boyfriend, but then defends him and gets taken out of private school and has to go to public school. I love how Miranda Keneally is able to take classic cliches and turn them into original stories. Next up, I have a book that was sent to me as a giveaway prize from Inkshares, and it is Algorithm by Jan Roselot. It's poetry. I don't really own or read poetry books, and I love the texture of this cover, and am very interested by the illustrations inside of this. Next up, I have a book that was sent to me by Amazon Publishing, and it is Girl in the Shadows by Gwenda Bond. This is about a girl who's in the shadows of Vegas. We've all heard about the stories that happen at Vegas. What happens at Vegas stays in Vegas. This is a Cirque American series with different stories, and this is one of them. I love the embellishments on the cover. It's so great. Great, stop judging a book by its cover. You're not supposed to do that. And then I have a book that I've hauled before on my channel, but it's a finished copy this time, and it is Losing Gabriel by Lurleen McDaniel. I actually interviewed this author. The post is going up on Phantom Monthly Magazine. I took a really long time trying to think of the questions that I was gonna ask, and I only asked like five of them. I'm definitely anticipating the answers. Next up, I have two books that were sent to me by Ulysses Press, and they are these. Seven Weeks to Getting Ripped. Probably not gonna happen for me, because I'm lazy. That's pretty much the reason why I'm not gonna get ripped in seven weeks. No guarantees that I'm gonna get ripped in seven weeks, but I'll try. I also have the 2,320 funniest quotes. I've read some of them. Some of them aren't that hilarious, but others are really hilarious and kind of mean, so I'm not gonna read them. So then the next three books are kind of outliers, I guess. We have Holy Fool, Holy Father by Nicholas A. Marziani Jr. That's a mouthful. Then we have Puppies and Pirates, Cat Napped, that just arrived at my doorstep from a publisher. And I was like, cool, I'll give this to my neighbor after I haul in a video. And same thing goes to this one, Twist My Charm Love Potion by Tony Gallagher. I've done promotional things for Tony Gallagher before on Fandom Monthly Magazine, which is why I was sent this. But I'm probably not gonna read this because I don't read these kind of books anymore. So I'll give these to my neighbor. That was the actual book haul, but now I have a box from Book Outlet that I got today that I'm gonna unbox. So the book haul is not over yet, it's just unboxing time. So book Outlet box, huh? So I have a little story. While I was hauling these scissors and box upstairs, I got a little cut from the scissors because I didn't realize that these scissor blades were titanium. I got some blood on the scissors that I need to wash off, but I haven't had the chance to yet. So I'm gonna cut this box anyways because I don't want to wait. This is why I have a Band-Aid on. Just getting our cutting mojo on. So there was a sale that was actually going on at Book Outlet and I was planning to buy stuff, but then I forgot to, even though I had a coupon code. I was recently looking at the Book Outlet site for the 50,000th time and I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna order some books. And so I did. There are people that are official Book Outlet vloggers. I'm not one of them. I just like to spend money on books. Oh, would you look at that? The famous Book Outlet paper that we all love. Wow. Okay. First up, we have What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. You may recall that I was talking about another book by Huntley Fitzpatrick a couple minutes ago. I forgot the title too, so it's okay. My True Love Gave to Me, the 12 holiday stories by all these authors that I'm not gonna say the names of. The summer version of this just came out when I ordered the Christmas version for some reason. Everyone talked about this last year and absolutely loved it, so I had to get it. And I had my eye on it for a long time, so I got it. The Vincent Boys by Abby Glines. I've read Breathe by Abby Glines, and that's the only book that I've read by her. Her, and so I decided to get this because I felt like it. This cover isn't exactly the most appealing thing. But let's hope what's inside is more appealing. And then I have another Abby Glines book, which is Until Friday Night. And this is a little Friday Night Lights book because, you know, football, a sport that I know minimal things about. I call that yellow fork thing at the end of the field the yellow fork thing, like I just did. And lastly, I have Isla and the Happily Ever After. 
After by Stephanie Perkins. I finished like a month ago Lola and the Boy Next Door and so I had to get Isla to know what happens. I love Stephanie Perkins and I just had to know. So that's the end! The end of the book haul! Now the real fun begins because I'm gonna try to pick up all these books and take a picture with them because that's what you do for thumbnails. Tell me down in the comments below if you're excited for any of the books that I hauled today or if you've read any of the books that I've hauled today. If you've read them, tell me your thoughts. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and if you liked it even more, please subscribe to my channel. My name's Grace. I'll see you in another video. I make videos every Sunday. Bye! Bye. <laughs>